right, today we're going to be looking at elapsed time using the Z method um, to calculate elapsed time. And the Z method makes this very easy. First we have to start with a beginning time, or what I call our start time. We're going to move to the nearest 10 minutes. And then we make this Z looking figure here. So we go from the nearest 10 minutes to the nearest hour closest to the end time. And then the last piece is in fact our end time. And then we add up the numbers in the middle uh, to calculate the elapsed time. Now, this is very easy and we can use it in a variety of ways. I have an example here. We're going to start at 9.05 a.m. Now, we want to go to the nearest 10 minutes from our start time. So that would be 9.10 a.m. Now, the middle part of the Z, we want to go to the nearest hour to our end time. So the next closest hour to that would be 11 a.m. And then the bottom leg of the Z gets us to our end time and that would be at 11.40 a.m. Now all I have to do is calculate the minutes and the hours on the different parts and add them up. So from 9.05 to 9.10, that's five minutes. From 9.10 to, I'm going to make this 11.10, 11.10 a.m., that's two hours. And then from 11.10 to 11.40, that's 30 minutes. So now, when I add these up, I have two hours, and then I add 30 plus 5 for the minutes to give us 35 minutes for an elapsed time of 2 hours and 35 minutes.